of all the cool things that I find in nature, in creation, none to me are more fascinating than feathers. Feathers are the things that we find on birds, right? Feather, if I got feathers, it's a bird. That's one of the ways we recognize birds. But these feathers aren't just the normal type of feathers that we would imagine finding. They come in a variety of different sizes and shapes for a variety of different functions. And, uh, and this video that I'm doing for you today is gonna to talk about some of those really cool functions and really cool varieties of feathers. Things that maybe you don't, wouldn't necessarily recognize, but we're gonna get into them today. Uh, the basic structure of a feather is really easy. Yeah, this end down here, this is called the calamus. And the calamus is the part that goes into the skin of the bird that connects it. Just like you have your hair goes in a little bit into the hair follicle that's inside of your dermis. And, uh, and that's actually a part of your skin, right? So the skin is producing the hair. Well, in a lot of ways, this is produced, the skin of the bird produces the feathers. Uh, very similar that way. So that's the calamus. Once we come up here, this part right there is called the vein. That's the part up here with these barbs. The central part of the vein is called the rachis. Uh, that's this part right here that runs up the middle. Coming off the rachis are these little fine barbs. And further up that vein, these barbs, are, and all these barbs, by the way, have little side shoots called barbules. And up here in this part of the vein, the barbules have little tiny hooks that join them together with the barbules next to them. And that's what gives the feather its smooth texture, what holds it together. As a matter of fact, if a feather ever gets split apart like this, then if you can slide your fingers oftentimes you can reconnect those barbules, reconnect the hooks, which I'm failing at miserably right now. There we go, those work kind of. I can get them back together, see if I can get these guys back together. Yeah, they're starting to come now. So you can kind of reconnect them right there and stick them back together by raking your hand like that. Of course, birds are a lot better. Whenever you see a bird preening, it usually grabs a little bit of oil from right near its, what's called its vent, its cloaca, it's where it goes to the bathroom at and all that. There's a little tiny oil gland down there called the preen gland, and it will grab some of that oil and it will use it to work its bill along these barbs and barbules and reconnect those things, keep the feathers clean, keep them healthy, keep them together, and that's part of the health of the bird. Now, to really understand the different types of feathers uh, and their different functions, well, for that, we need to go to another spot. I'm going to take you to a very special place, one of my favorite places. Come on, I'll show you. Welcome to the chicken kingdom. This is my chicken coop. Let me introduce you. That was blue. Let me introduce you to the roosters, and I'll show you around. This way. This is Handsome with some of his girls. This is Blue. With some of his girls. There, oh, there he is. This is Nick Fury. We call him Nick Fury because he has one good eye and one bad eye. The bad eye came from a fight with one of the other roosters. What's the matter? What's the matter? Oh, you have a good life. I don't want to hear it. So, oh, <laughs> you're okay. <laughs> easy, easy does it. All right. So, this is one of my girls. Adjust the camera. There we go. That's a good girl. That's a good girl. So, this is one of my girls. You're okay. You're okay. All right. Woo, let's talk about some feathers. Now, the feathers that we normally find 
kind of around on the ground. Oh man, I'm out of breath. Those would be the flight feathers. Now flight feathers occur out here on the wings. If you imagine a bird's wing as being like your hand like this, these will be where the flight feathers come off. The, uh, the forearm or the, the ulna right here, that would be where the secondary flight feathers come off. The primaries, you can see them here. This is like the wrist of the bird right about there. And you can see the primaries as they're coming off up here. Primary flight feathers almost always are asymmetrical. Notice that the leading edge of the feather, this part right here, is much shorter than the back part of the feather, the trailing edge of the feather. So when you find a flight feather, you can know which side it was on. The small edge always goes toward the front of the bird. And that smaller edge is very stiff. It helps to keep the feathers from twisting in flight. The secondary flight feathers are these back here, these right there. Those are the secondaries. And these are the feathers that are important for flight for the bird. They're gonna help to create that wing shape, that airfoil. You're okay, oh, she's calming down really nice. Look at her. The secondary feathers tend to be not asymmetrical like that. They tend to be a lot more symmetrical as do the tail feathers. The tail feathers are really responsible for in birds that fly a lot, which chickens don't, they're a, they're a ground bird, they're a ground fowl, they're gonna run around a lot. But these tail feathers, they're going to be responsible for almost like a rudder. They're gonna be kind of helping to be a rudder. They can splay out, they can come together, they can alter like that, and it helps like a rudder of a boat to help it to steer. The tail feathers of a bird, they help it to steer. Now some birds have elongated tail feathers like peacocks that are used for decoration, for display. All the feathers of a bird can be used for display. A lot of the times the feathers, the coloration simply has to do with camouflage, keeping the bird uh, camouflaged, hidden from predators, especially these hens that are sitting on a nest, they like to be camouflaged. The contour feathers, these are the ones that you see here, like here on the back and on the breast of the bird here. They tend to overlap each other like shingles. Uh, and as they're overlapping like shingles, they tend to keep the bird, oh, thank you. They tend to keep the bird somewhat waterproof, uh, streamlined as far as air. They tend to be really, really good at that. The contour feathers over the wing that protect that leading edge of the wing right here, those contour feathers are called the coverts. They have a special name. And you can see the coverts come all the way down from here, the leading edge, all the way down to here. Those are the coverts. Different birds have different color coverts. Oftentimes that's how you can tell the species. The red wing blackbird, the red shoulder hawk, they have the coverts have a distinct color on those birds. Underneath the, the contour feathers, you have phyloplumes and you have down. The phyloplumes are like this one right here. This is uh, the phyloplumes and down are, are basically there for, uh, for insulation. They're gonna trap a lot of air. The phyloplumes tend to have a larger rachis, a thicker rachis like that one does. Uh, but none of the phyloplumes or the down do they have the little hooks that hold the barbules together. That keeps them nice and fluffy, which traps air, which insulates the bird. Uh, then you have other small ones, uh, basically just the rachis with a few little barbs on them, not many. And those can be for uh, functioning uh, like whiskers would on a cat or a dog. Uh, those little tiny feathers would function um, uh, for the purpose of sensing things around them, sometimes in aiding a feeding. Some of the birds, like the night hawk, uh, these birds have these little, these specialty feathers um, that stick out along the edge of their mouth. So when they open their mouth, the feathers stick out on the side and it creates this funnel. So when they're flying around at night trying to catch uh, trying to catch insects, they have this big funnel they can scoop in insects. And the other one is a real tiny one. Sometimes you can see them around the eye of the bird. They function almost like eyelashes. And I can't really see them here. So all these structures are feathers. So they serve as protection, they serve for sensory purposes, for display, to show off territory or to protect, uh, to, um, to attract in the hens, uh, the, girl, the females, to bring them in for mating. Sometimes, such as in some of these birds, uh, they're gonna serve the function of camouflage to protect their nest and hide their nest from predators. Um, 
There's service for flights, for insulation, for weatherproofing to keep water out. Just amazing, amazing structures and all insanely light. And those are the feathers of a bird. Okay, girl, you can go. <laughs> Check out my next video where I tell you how to, dis to identify a bird that you've, or a feather that you find in the wild. I'll teach you how to identify it so that you can know what bird that came from.